this sleeping spell spreads throughout Oridon. We're trying to discover which villain has perpetrated this evil. Fans of the popular Descendants series on Disney Channel have been buzzing with excitement as they await the release of the fourth installment. Disney revealed that a fourth Descendants movie was in development, proving that the wait had been worthwhile. Kenny Ortega, Sarah, and Josanne McGibbon have made a lasting impression on the family entertainment industry with Descendants. And if you haven't watched it yet, what are you waiting for? Mostly focusing on the sons and daughters of Cruella de Vil, Maleficent, Jafar, and the Evil Queen, the Descendants is a series of stories about the kids of iconic Disney villains. To protect Oridon. I felt all of my power slipping away. Unless I get that ember, it's game over. 20 years after the Beauty and the Beast, Belle and the Beast are in charge of a unique Disney universe in which all of the bad guys have been banished to a magically created Isle of the Lost. Four children from the island are brought to Belle and Beast's kingdom in the first Descendants film. The children must choose between adjusting to their new life and following their parents' orders to destroy the kingdom. With its 2019 release, Descendants 3 concluded the narrative of the Descendants trilogy. The fourth installment in the Descendants series, Descendants The Rise of Red is a spin-off of the first three, taking place in the same kingdom of Oridon, but with new characters and an entirely new plot. The news of a fourth Descendants film excites fans a lot, especially considering how well the third one performed. It's fascinating to consider returning to the world of the villain's offspring and observing how they grow as individuals. The upcoming Descendants film, The Rise of Red, which will take place in the same Oridon universe as the the first three films, but it will have a nearly new cast. Well, you think our queen? <gasps> no! The musical and dance-filled film, formerly known as The Pocket Watch, follows polar opposites Red and Chloe as they cross paths during a momentous celebration in Oridon, upon where unexpected chaos breaks out. They have to work together to use a magical pocket watch made by the Mad Hatter's son to travel back in time and avert an imminent coup that could have disastrous consequences. The musical was filmed in Atlanta earlier this year, and it features many familiar faces from the Disney family, including a couple of stars reprising their roles from over 15 years ago. A fourth film appears to be almost certain after the premiere of the animated spin-off Descendants The Royal Wedding. After another Descendants film was revealed to be in production in 2021, the fourth film was not publicly announced until May 2022. The fourth Descendants film, currently titled The Rise of Red, was shot from January to March 2023. However, the film's release date is still awaited. We're exposed to danger. We can't risk having having another villain escape. It makes sense that some have theorized that Descendants 4 might be released in early 2024. Descendants 3 wrapped up its main shooting in July 2018 and debuted on the Disney Channel in August 2019. A full 13 months later, the release window for Descendants 4 appears to be between February and May 2024 if the film is produced along a similar pipeline. Nothing though has been verified. Even though the official release date for the fourth installment has not yet been announced, Disney debuted the previous Descendants films in the summer summer and July and August, suggesting a potential release pattern for the film. Regarding the release, the only thing that is confirmed is that The Rise of Red will debut simultaneously on Disney Channel and Disney Plus for the first time ever in the franchise's history. As we move on to Descendants The Rise of Red cast list, anticipation and surprise rule the day. The entire cast of Descendants 4 has been unveiled, with several celebrities who starred in earlier films in the fantastical series expected to make a comeback. However, Malia Baker and Kylie Cantrell, two recent additions to the franchise, are leading the way this time. Cantrell will play Red, the protagonist, a rebellious 16-year-old who, realizing she should never win her mother's approval, finds ways to rile up the queen and cause trouble. Baker plays 16-year-old Chloe, an athletic, happy, bookish girl who, because of her privilege as the daughter of Cinderella and King Charming, is a little naive about the real world. The parents in question have been cast in a way that is just amazing. Playing the Queen of Hearts will be British singer-actress Rita Ora. Paola and Brandy are also reprising their roles as Cinderella and King Charming. The three's younger incarnations will also appear. Morgan Dudley as Ella, the young Cinderella, and Ruby Rose Turner as Bridget, the young Queen of Hearts. Dara, who plays Ursula's younger sister, and Joshua Cooley, who plays Hook, one of her supporters, are joining them. No! <laughs> 
Next among the cast are Jeremy Swift as Principal Merlin of Merlin Academy, Alex as Jack of Diamonds, Captain of Queen of Hearts Red Army, and Leonardo Nam as Maddox, the son of the Mad Hatter. Alongside them in the movie are returning stars Melanie Paxson as the Fairy Godmother and China Ann McLean as Uma. Whether series star Dove Cameron will return to play Mal is the main question that fans will be asking before Descendants 4 even releases. Prior to this, Cameron starred in the animated Royal Wedding spin-off and all three of the Descendants movies. Nevertheless, she and a few of her co-stars from the previous Descendants movies won't be appearing in Descendants 4. The reason The Rise of Red will have two leads is because Cameron, Boo Boo Stewart, and Sophia Carson all chose not to participate in the upcoming fourth movie. However, there is a rumor that in the fourth installment, Carson will make a special guest appearance. Additionally, this season's plot will probably depend depend heavily on our character. In addition, the possibility of new faces joining the group increases the curiosity surrounding the movie. These new characters might give the story a different perspective, which would make the fourth installment even more interesting. A small change in the production team raises the possibility of future changes that could spark the creative process. A cliffhanger along the lines of, you didn't think this was the end of the story, did you? is a staple of every Descendants movie, hinting at what will happen in the next installment of the Young Descendants journey. You didn't expect that this was the end of the narrative, did you? Was a line that appeared in the third installment's closing scenes. Well, that was a hint. Specifically, the most recent Descendants film, 2021 Descendants The Royal Wedding, concluded with a happy yet enigmatic note. We heard Mal say, but somewhere another story could be just the beginning. And then we saw a field of white roses, some of which were painted red. This trail led to a setting that looked very familiar, and it was evident that some wonders would play a significant role in the upcoming Descendants film, which is true. The people are in a panic about Hades. Every time we open the barrier. Despite what many people think, the upcoming Descendants movie is a brand new story featuring new characters that take place in the same universe as the first three films in the series. It's obvious where Descendants 4 will go after the hint that another story could be just beginning at the conclusion of Descendants The Royal Wedding. Upon the initial announcement of Descendants The Rise of Red in 2022, it was disclosed that the movie would draw significant inspiration from Alice in Wonderland. Just before the credits roll, the camera turned back to a stack of red rose petals, whose colors vanished before being sucked up into an Alice in Wonderland style portal, giving fans a preview of the next story that will conclude The Royal Wedding. In order to avert catastrophe, the story will follow Cinderella and the daughters of the Queen of Hearts as they work together to travel back in time using the White Rabbit's pocket watch. This transports the two to the era of the Merlin Academy, which was the forerunner of Descendants Oradon Prep. Maleficent, Hades, Jafar, and Cruella de Vil are just a few of the well-known Disney characters that have made cameos in the Descendants film series. However, Descendants The Rise of Red is the first time fans will see these characters as teenagers. Teenagers. Though they will be younger versions of themselves, it will also be Jasmine, Aladdin, and Prince Charming's first full appearances. Descendants The Rise of Red will be the first movie in the Descendants franchise to delve into the past of more well-known Disney characters, whereas previous Descendants films have primarily focused on the next generation. Beyond that, the plot of the Descendants 4 is still unknown, but it is safe to assume that the two main protagonists in the film won't be the only ones sent to Wonderland, with a villain like China Ann McLean Uma likely to take advantage of their discovery of this alternate reality. Descendants The Rise of Red, the fourth Descendants movie, promises something entirely different from previous entries in the series, making it a unique addition to the Disney canon. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.